I'm going to need y'all to know that y'all going to be okay. I'm going to need you to know that when these people deserted you, when these people left you, when these people did all these things, God was carrying you. I'm going to need you to know that you are healed. You are healthy. You are happy. I need you to know that your blessings is flowing through left and right. I'm going to need you to know this, that God is blessing you all around. Don't get yourself wrapped up, tangled up, tied up with somebody who's going through karma. A lot of y'all, listen, I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all even got entangled with somebody who's financially cursed, bro. Pay attention. When certain people are not around you, how you up, your mood happy, you doing this, you doing that. When certain people come around, your money start being funny, stuff start going off in your house, man. Keep people away from y'all. Keep all the negative energies away from y'all. I'm telling y'all, keep these people at your business, at your life, at your house. What, let me tell you something. Stop going back and be friends with people that you had fallen outs with and they go and team up with somebody else. They go team up. Stop laying down with these men who sitting up here and pillow talking about you to someone else. Stop laying down with these women who setting you up with your partners because you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you guys, warning comes before destruction. Stop dealing with people who God has told you to cut off. God been giving you all kinds of signs that people were snakes. Y'all steady letting these snakes bite you. These snakes is steady uh, uh, poking poison in you slowly but surely. So eventually that poison going to take you out. Either carried by six or carried by twelve. I'm letting you guys know this right here, right now. These people is no good for you. Don't let nobody from the past who have disrespect you, deserted you, damaged you at any time, any form or fashion, come back in your life and feel like they can play a role in your life. You guys, people are dying left and right. We are all on borrowed times. If it's not aligning with your calling and with your purpose, you don't need to have no parts of it. No parts of it. People, wake up. Stop using people for money. Stop being somebody's friend because of what they can buy you. Stop being in a relationship with somebody because what you can get from them financially. Stop trying to use other people as a come up. Stop using people. I'm telling you guys. The shift that is taking place right now. The word says nobody will know the seasons. Y'all better pay attention to how it's hot one minute and it's cold the next pay attention to what's going on around you get your house in order get your house in order stop playing around because we don't have time to play around we got to get it together God is showing you all kind of warnings you be having a good day then here comes somebody come calling your phone with some mess and some gossip get rid of them Get rid of them. Get rid of somebody who's bringing you a bone. Because any dog that'll bring you a bone gonna carry a bone back. Get rid of them. If they're not motivating you to go up, they're pulling you down. Get rid of them people that, that you always clapping for. You always encouraging. You always texting good morning. You always texting how you doing. You always doing, doing. But they're not reaching out for you. Get rid of these codependent, selfish uh envious jealous people one-sided people get rid of that get rid of it see because where god is taking you to your peer family i'm telling you god has opened doors for you he's opening doors for you blessings on top of blessings is getting ready to rain in on you do not have nobody around you that side eye on you that's a secret snake waiting for you to get money so they can steal from you waiting to rob you waiting to set you up waiting to plot telling lies on you, trying to get you killed, trying to get your children taken, trying to get you dead, doing spells, trying to make you get in a wreck, trying to make you kill yourself, doing all the rest of this hateful stuff. Let me tell you something. Let go of these people who have pure hate in their heart. Jealousy is a very ugly trade. There's a lot of men that are jealous of women. Women are jealous of men. Women are jealous of other women. Jealousy is an ugly ass trade. And guess what? 
a lot of people, they're not bold enough to say, you know, you know why I don't like you? Because I'm jealous of you. You know why I don't like you? Because you own your stuff. You know why I don't like you? Because you, you got confidence within yourself. You know why I don't like you? Because you're beautiful. You know why I don't like you? Because you're a great parent. You know why I like you? Because you're a great friend. You're a great mentor. They would never say that because they're so jealous of you. Let go of these jealous people. Let them people live their life. Do, man, I'm telling y'all, do not associate with yourself with nobody from the past. Let these people go, bro. I'm telling y'all, do not allow these people to hinder you. Do not go back to a place where God has already healed you from. When you was down and you was out and you ain't had nobody, it was you and God. When you was down and somebody was there for you, man, you never forget who was there for you when you ain't had nothing. When everybody else turned their back on you, who stood on all 10 for you, don't forget that type of person. And if you betrayed somebody like that, who was down for you when nobody else was down for you, just know you can never, ever, ever come back around that person or get with that person, point blank and period. Y'all would never be friends. Y'all would never be associates. Y'all would never be nothing. Stop allowing people to mistreat you. Stop mistreating people. Stop misusing people. Just stop with the foolishness. Own your shit that you do. Stand at being true. Don't be out here saying you don't fool with this and the fool with that one, but behind closed doors laid up with them. Own your shit. Let that shit go. If you're not messing with somebody, you don't care about nobody, you don't want to be with them, let that shit go. What they doing shouldn't even worry you. Don't think about them. Don't do nothing. Pray. That's all you got to do. Continue to pray. Because I'm telling you guys, God is taking you somewhere. He got blessings on top of blessings raining for you. But these people trying to come back and that's going to be a big old test. So either you're going to relearn that lesson or you're going to get them blessings. It's your girl, the real, true, divine feminine. I don't know who that message is for, but I pray it help who it needs to help. It reach who it needs to reach. Send it to your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your uncle. Your, your niece, your nephew, I don't care who you send it to. Send it to somebody who can help, somebody who needs a word of inspiration, somebody who needs to know. Do not go back and dwell yourself and let a snake bite you again. Do not go back and conversate with a snake again. You, It's easy for you to, you can go ahead and forgive them, but it's hard to forget sometimes, but it's okay. Forgive them and let go and go about your business. Peace.